people. I didn't expect to be people here, actually. Goat. Go advanced technologies. Hello. Hi. You can find Miss Marie in her office. You can find Miss Marie in her office. Joanna's office. Uh huh. I'm not going there. Pretty sure I would have to go there. Um. Mr. Russell, I'm glad you made it up here. Please, close the door for me. I hope you had time to see a bit of what we're doing here. I wanted you to see it firsthand. There is so much prejudice out there regarding our mission. The best way to break it is to talk face to face, to be open about everything. I agree. But are you open with all projects? Hmm. We are a private company, Mr. Russell. I do have a few investors to please, so, no. We can't disclose everything we're working on. Some things need to mature first. I'm sure you of all people understand. And talking about this, let me be blunt. Has the TSB reached you already? I heard they're meddling with academics as well. Yes, they are. They move fast. I hope they aren't being as obtrusive with you as they are with us. If you do everything by the book, there's nothing to hide. I like your moral sense, Mr. Russell. But I'm afraid these people will disappoint you sooner than later. I do hope I am mistaken, of course. Mr. Russell, let me cut to the chase. I admire your research. And you face the same challenges we do, but on a different scale. We think a partnership would be very beneficial. A partnership? You mean a job? Here at Go AT? A job? No. A partnership. We're offering a very unique position here. A chance to direct your own projects. Very generous resources. And the power and freedom any smart scientist would ever want. Think of the other benefits. We're a tech company, with no connections to the pharmaceutical industry. I know that you already challenge their status quo and the effectiveness of their drugs. We can protect you from them, and make your research widely known. The benefits of working together are limitless. And in return? Two things. One is the sheer value of your expertise in the AI field. And the other is political support. A well-respected academic like you, that has always been outside of the corporate world. That is what the public needs to see. So, I would be a political asset, and in exchange you would give me resources. That would be a cold way of viewing it. The warm way? which is how I'd like to think about it, is that together we can make the world a better place. Great minds like us need to unite and work together. And this is the place where you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Unless the TSB gets in the way. Politics is the other part of the equation. The biggest part, probably. When the time comes, everything will come down to ideology. I want you to be on the right side, unless you think the TSB will avoid the upcoming problems by simply putting a lifetime break on every possible development. To be honest, I think we can't take any further steps without proper regulation. Not the answer I expected, but I do respect that position. The way I see it, regulation is supposedly what keeps us safe from the dark side of technology. But regulation isn't the problem. The problem is who creates those laws, and why. Given the current state of affairs, I don't trust the government's intentions. The law reacts, and it's always late. I understand they want to get ahead. The stakes are too high. A single mistake could cost the world everything. 
But they don't seem to be in the prevention business. They just want control. And God knows what they could do with what we create. They have their own agenda. So yes, regulation could be good, on paper. But in my opinion, that is not what's going on here. Besides, all these statesmen, with their morals and their popular ideals, they all had their chance. And they left us. The scientists, the inventors, the people who create things. They left us all the weight of their failures. So yes, I don't appreciate them breathing down my neck while we try to fix their mess. Anyway, Mr. Russell, I don't want to keep you here for too long. And of course, you don't have to answer now. But I should tell you that regardless of this small difference in opinion, I have no doubt that you joining us would be a wise decision. I appreciate the invitation, Miss Chu, but please give me a few days to think about it. Of course. There is no rush. We're more than happy to wait for someone like you. And when you make up your mind, please call David. He will help you with the details. And we should have dinner soon. To discuss everything further. And now, I'm afraid I have to get back to my work. Thank you for coming, Mr. Russell. Feel free to stay as long as you want. And expect a call soon. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Russell. So, you're worried about the future, but have no faith in politics, am I right? Hmm. You could say that, Mr. Russell. It's a complex situation. I don't pretend to have all the answers. I think the world as we know it is about to change. And just like it has happened to every powerful civilization, once weakened, a new ideology takes over. If this ideology is a response to decadence and despair, then we risk a return to the Dark Ages. But if we find a new way through enlightenment, there is hope. We have to get ahead of them, bring the good news, so resentment doesn't take over. We have to use science and technology in humanity's favor. Govern through intelligence, not fear. A new ideology will happen. And we have to make sure it's a good one. You know, I sometimes think you're the missing link in all this. The link between science and the human soul. Between numbers and poetry. I think your research can change the world. Help me create a better future, Mr. Russell. That's it? This is an Edward Hopper, right? Indeed. I keep that painting there as a reminder of the problems of that time. How progress also brought loneliness and alienation. He expressed it so beautifully. It's a reminder of what we need to avoid in the next cycle. When technology once again changes the social fabric of the world, we cannot make the same mistake. We must put ourselves first. I couldn't agree more. Enough blind steps. Then Edward Hopper. Then Edward Hopper. Looks like a multi-use landing site. Okay, she doesn't want to talk to me anymore. I guess I'm gonna inspect her office real quick and uh, read her newspaper and be on my way. Uh huh, it's about Joanna. Okay. Well, Joanna. he didn't. Yes. A very sad moment for us all. She was an incredible professional, and a great woman as well. I wish I had known what was happening in her mind. I guess I was too busy managing everything. What have you heard about her? I saw something on the news about her. Awful business. I imagine it must have been a terrible blow to everyone here. Indeed it was. 
I think she may have been contacted by the TSB. And who knows if they manipulated her. These people will do anything to fulfill their political agenda. Perhaps you can help us investigate things in the future. Find out how she really died. I'm on it. Amazing. Different seeds of the same building. All procedurally generated. Okay, you don't want to talk with me anymore? Alright, cool. Then I'm leaving. Oh, and Mr. Russell. Just in case, out of courtesy, we haven't signed NDAs or anything. But, given the current situation, I would appreciate it that this offer remain between us. At least for now. Of course. No worries. Good. Let's keep it secret. As if it was a password. Uh-huh. He's gone in her offices. Why did she ask for all these files? I have no idea. She did have access to everything, but it's very technical stuff. Completely out of her area. It's like super complex. Hard to read even for me, and I'm an engineer. And the notes on these paragraphs... Unethical? Yeah, I think. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, that's it. Oh, while he's in there, I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna. I thought I'm gonna check out his workplace, but I can't go there. Fine. Can I go here? No. Fine. Guess I'm leaving. Well, to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure what was this TBS. Russell. Hi, Tom. Hi. The password didn't work. Oh, damn. I thought I had it. And not only that, we put our whole operation at risk. The attempts probably didn't go unnoticed. You know how it is. We can't compete with their infrastructure. You have to be very careful, Russell. There's a lot at stake here. I know. You haven't given us a single thing we can use. I thought your subjective approach would be more effective. It just needs time. Each person is like a small labyrinth. I'm trying to get to the bottom of things. Well, I really hope you do. We don't want to pull the plug on you. <sighs> I'll get right on it. Do that. And I have a new task for you. Where are you right now? Hello? Hello? Uh, oh, sorry, my battery's running low. You, you said something about a task? Yes. Um, well, I need you to find something on the husband, Alex. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. He was with us at first, but now he's gone dark. Maybe he's afraid of something, or maybe he's just angry. In any case, if you give us some leverage on him, we might get him speaking. I have a feeling he knows more than he told us. I see. I'm sending you his address. Don't push him too much, though. And of course, keep us out of it. I understand. Okay, Russell? Don't fail us this time. And make sure to be transparent with everything. I'll be waiting for your call. Sure. Bye, Tom. Hey, with password, I think I have a time. I have time. I thought he's gonna call me again and ask, like, for the third time, but I just, like, kept uh, delaying it. And now it's kind of, like, solved, which is not solved, which is fail, obviously. But they didn't ask me again. Well, to be to be perfectly honest, I don't I don't know what the password could be. It could be this uh, poster that we saw in her apartment, or it could be maybe her sister's birthday or something like that. You're good to go. You can use elevator A. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's someone standing. So. My lab's down there. Automated building construction with generative design. Supposedly, they can adapt to any terrain. Looks, uh, out of place. A private runway. Oh, excuse me. 
There was something else I could uh, look at. My lab's down there. Oh, there. Oh, come on. My lab's down there. This company really tries to do everything. I don't know what's there, but whatever. A lot of people predict this will have a drastic impact on the household and construction markets, but the real thing is off-world colonization. I have to wonder, how much is really automated? There's way too many cranes. The AI Research Center. From prosthetics to automated farming. Well, I guess we're not... Photovoltaic glass. Cool. Not going in there. An entrance to the AI Research Center. Neural implant section. If I'm making progress in uncharted realms, they should be too. Feels like a time bomb. Well, I guess we're going back to the lab. And the, with the thing with the password was really weird. Like he said, that didn't work. I didn't even give him any information, any clue. Hä? Huh? Ugh, whatever. I hope no one's gonna kill me here. <laughs> Looks kinda creepy. Um, hmm, yeah. Wait, what? Home and... Uh, uh, Alex's house. Okay, well, uh, yeah, let's go there, I guess. I mean, we've, we've got to dig up some dirt in him, right? Ding dong. Hello. Hi. Are you Alex? Yeah. Who is it? I'm Frederick Russell. I'm trying to find out about the reasons behind Joanna's death. Russell? It, it almost sounds familiar, but it doesn't. Go away. <sighs> Hello? Do you know someone named Richard? Richard? I might know something, but why should I tell you? Mr. Russell? I think he might have something to do with Joanna's death. What? Wait, why am I talking to you? You guys will try anything, won't you? I saw the security cameras. No one went in. So for the last time, fuck off! Richard. I guess I'll have to stop bothering him for a while. Aw, that's a shame. Well, fine. Let's try home. 